I can't get over how weird some of them are, man. Have you seen the law one? The law and the the king one. Man, you guys need to see the king panel. It is so weird. <laughs> Here we go. Worst customization EU versus Mihawk. Let's go. Now, Mihawk has already played against an Eliza today, so he'll have some knowledge about the moves. But this is a completely different Eliza player. This is someone who's used her from the start. Someone who's been to EVO, who's beaten Japan, top Japanese players at EVO. So, can Mihawk deal with this, this Eliza player? No punish on the forward forward two. There's has a missed input on the running two. Oh my god, just goes straight under the down, uh, the down two and this is going to be dead. Boom, 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 listen to the drums. Eww. Round two. Fight. <laughs> so Kira with the first round, very, very nice. And a 4-4-3-4 four, four, four again. Now I know that Mihawk definitely likes to sidestep and sidestepping out of range against uh, Eliza is not really a clever thing to do. Um, not, I mean, you can sidestep and block, but not sidewalking or committing to it because then you will get hit by that forward forward three. If anything, you want to sidewalk and duck, sidestep and duck. That's definitely the best thing to do. But Kira looking very strong here. This is first to three, by the way, guys. So semi finals. Still have a lot of chances to um, make the adjustments, but with the DP not going punished and EXDP, man. Mihawk is not going to have good memories of that, man. Lost a very, very clutch match um, in Germany versus Super Akuma. Two in the XDP and the EX move again. Kind of misjudged the wall there, but Kira looking so strong down forward. And that is going to be it. What is happening? What? Well, it looks like Kira won that match. Okay, so here we go. Legendary me hook. 1 0 down versus Eliza. Now, like I said, uh, Tricky's Eliza, although it's not bad, is not quite on the level of Kira's Eliza because he's been using this character for a long time. He's played a lot of death matches versus so many different characters. As, even though he does play Eliza, and Eliza is a very weird character for, for Tekken players to deal with, Kira is the kind of a player who actually tries to play the matchup as well. So he'll see that, okay, I'm playing against Dragunov. Okay, I'm playing against Feng. So what do I need to do? He's still, um, Eliza's not, is still kind of a Tekken character. She does have a lot of you know 2D elements to her, but she still plays kind of like a Tekken character. Unlike Akuma. Akuma, I feel, is just completely Street Fighter. Uh, whereas, I think that um, Eliza plays a bit more like a Tekken character. So, what you're seeing right now is both guys right now are going to be trying to adjust to each other. I'm going to give Kira the uh, respect to actually call him Kira Kira in this match. I won't, I won't change his name. <coughs> right, let's get into it. Legendary Mihawk versus Kira Kira. Nice, good duck in, uh, in your shoulder. And the two throws. Now, this is very interesting. I think Mihawk has probably realized that the throws are going to work for him. These are command throws, by the way, so you have to break them with either one or two. You can't just press any of them. Oh, that's not punishable, but doesn't launch it. Gets a low parry anyway. Boom, boom. Gets a bit of a low wall splat. One plus two throw broken. Down four. Down four again. It's like Kira can still make this comeback with a down two. So Mihawk on the board. Round two. Fight. Yeah, imagine Feng had Dark Wave. That would be sick. Feng with Dark Wave? Like he needs anything else. Again, that is a that four four three four is jailing. Can't duck under that. Have to duck both hits. And we've got that pressure again, the dive pressure. Uh-oh. There we go. Good launch. Taking it downstairs? Yes, we are. Boom. Nice combo. We're about even on health now. Legendary Mihawk just a one hit away from Rage. Oh my god. Just ran into it. And a good combo. Hero on the board. Back one, two, not punished. Very, very awkward string there because it can hit you out of your movement very easily. It also is minus 13. The third hit is minus 13. You can step it. I think Mihawk's going to have to try and go for that option. I'm not sure if he knows though. Like we don't have many Eliza players or top Eliza players on PC. So 
Kira is a uh, is one of the only Eliza players that's really really good uh, in Europe, and he was playing playing PS4 for the most part. I think today is when he's really started to. Now this is his first PC to tournament. Um, there you go again, back one two, just hitting him out of your moves and hitting you out of your movement. It's so good. Oh, nice read. No punish though. Interesting. Good break. Oh no, that's going to be launched. Is he going to use his rage drive now? Is he going to is he going to save save it? Yes, he saves it. You do get extra health. You do get extra damage with rage. So it looks like he's keeping that rage for now. Oh my god, the dark wave. And we are going to a final round now. Is Mihawk going to be able to even it out 1-1 one, one, or is it going to be 2-0? You never you don't want to go 2-0 oh, down in a th in a first to 3. Big whiff but no punish. Just backing off now, Mihawk. Nice, he tried to sidestep, but Kira did not bite. And again, man, it's such a good move. Boom, boom. Oosh, oosh. There's one more mix up. Oh my god. And the down three again. <laughs> Kira. 2 0. Here's the thing, right? So, your reactions in Tekken are not based on your reaction time per se, right? So, your reaction time could be really, really good. But as, if you haven't seen the animations of these moves, you're not going to be used to with punishing them. Um, it looks like Mihawk is, hasn't played against many Eliza players. And like I said, PS4 really has a lot of the Eliza players that we see at a higher rank. I haven't seen many top Eliza players on PC. So, and, and at least I haven't seen any on the level of Kira. Now, I've played Kira a lot um, in the start of Tekken 7, even now. I played him today in a set. Now, his, his Eliza definitely takes time to getting used to. And his ability to adapt really cements his position as a top player in Europe. Because having a character like Eliza where you actually think can be a, a bad mix for people, yeah? So it looks like Mihawk just needs to really get used to the animations so he can utilize his strength, which is block punishment and whiff punishment. Right, so let's get into it now. 2-0 for Kira Kira. This is Mihawk's last opportunity here. He needs to now. He's stuck in with Dragonov. He hasn't changed characters. He's going Dragonov all the way now. He's going to see if he can make a reverse sweep three games straight. It's definitely possible. If his punishment is more on point, because he did miss a few punishes, uh, punishes there, I'm pretty sure something can come of it. Let's see though. Kira, 2 0 up. Looking to make it into Grand Finals versus Frizen. Dark Wave. And again, 4 4 3 4. Perhaps catching him out of his movement. Nice wall carry. But bam, big damage. Went for the main mix up. Nice jabs. Oh my god, getting hit by the last hit. Oh, interesting. I haven't seen that move before. What's he doing? Dunking on him. Oh, back one, two. No punish. What was that? All these tricks. Guy's got tricks up his sleeve, man. He's he's customized. He's customized his character like a clown, and now he's clowning around. All these tricks. Good stuff there by Kira. And a nice float. That's going to be a combo. Take that to the wall. Not quite. Drops the combo. <laughs> he just runs up down four. One throw broken. Good stuff. Here we go. We want to see more of that. We want to see more of Mihawk asserting his dominance. Oh, a forward four. One more mix-up's going to do it. Down two. There we go. So Mihawk on the board. This is what Mihawk needs to do. He needs to poke. He needs to out-poke. Eliza, get out of that really close range, sidestep, but make sure you're blocking that forward forward three. If you can lock down those moves, it's going to be very hard for Kira to win. Here we go. Wall pressure now. Oh my god, what happened here? This is not good. This is not good at all. He has two bars of meter as well. He hasn't even used them yet. Oh, nice. Throw not broken. Here we go, now one down two will do it. <gasps> nice step! Oh my god, that was sick! What a step from Kira, and now he is on set point. If he, if he wins this round, he was moving into grand finals. That was such a good step on while running 2. While running 2 is made easier to step after the last patch. You can step into the right, but left is where you normally want to step against while running 2. And he did that really well. But as I say that, Mihawk teeing off on Kira. There we go now. Oh, try to go for a, a tech trap. Mihawk being patient. One more mix up. Oh my god! And the Rage Heart. That is going to be it. No 
Oosh, what a comeback from Kira. 